actually getting super like anxious excited. We're about to go do this spontaneous live performance. My name's Mike Green. I'm the director producer of the what are we calling this? I like to think of it as a flash mob on steroids. I've never done one of these before. It's always been kind of like a bucket list thing for me. I've always wanted to do a flash mob. And when we started talking about the music video itself, she really wanted to do something spontaneous, something that people wouldn't expect. And we're not publicizing it. Nobody knows about it. It's totally secret. So on Friday night when we do it, all of a sudden, this fountain show will go on, these dancers will jump in the water. We have so many fun things happening from projections to pyro guns. There'll be a sail and smoke and fire and, and hopefully it'll wow everybody. So we don't want to shoot it towards the audience or other people. That's fun. There have been some challenges coming up with working with the fountain, working with a wet stage. I use this prop a lot, posting on it to do some of the acrobatics, and it's kind of slipping from under me, so I'm really modifying my technique to kind of get the character right, get the chicks right, and make sure everyone's safe. Now this is, this is day one at the Americana. First time these guys rehearsing in the fountain. So next we're gonna do it with the fountain for the first time. You'll probably get wet too. Oh, no. oh my gosh, when we saw the fountain for the first time and it like doused the stage, we were all like, oh, like, oh, that's where we're all dancing. What's gonna be happening? What do you guys think? <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> A little challenging, but amazing nonetheless. Day one, a few bumps and bruises, but nobody's bleeding. Well, some some logistics to work out. It was fine. <laughs> what do you guys think about the fountain? The fountain, honestly, look at me. Somehow I think they blocked me or something because I was like, I'm not wet. I don't know. I think you choreographed the fountain to avoid doing I ass. did. I, when I duck, it goes over my head, yeah. actually. I'm like, oh, good guys. Yeah, I'm like, like it. It. Oh, it. I'm living it. And the first rehearsal with the fountain and the water and everything together. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing in water. That's brand new for me and splashing around trying not to slip on this stage that's an inch underwater and uh, you know these lifts I've never done before so I mean there's a lot of new things happening um, and then also just the time crunch of getting it all together so fast. We did not have very long to rehearse for this so we started rehearsing two days ago which is really fast for me I mean I'm not a trained dancer I usually like to really be able to take my time and let the choreography sink in and then add the violin to it but um, it was pretty intense. I mean, I the first day I already had to add the violin because we had to learn it with the lifts. <laughs> I haven't even added the violin yet. I'm like, oh gosh, we'll do that maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or no, we should. Do oh, today. okay, today. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so good. Uh, we had a full rehearsal with Lindsay, which I am very impressed with. Her. She did really good for dance not being her main craft. She picked everything up well enough to get the entire piece gone through before lunch. And then you like, you like to think you got, yeah. you like to think yeah. you got, yeah, and then all of a sudden, you're like, wait a second, <laughs> and we'll do that thing again where he's here, boom. I love choreographing with water because it adds another dimension. You know, you have movement that goes like this. But then, if you have movement that goes like this, then there's a, another movement that happens that sprays off. So it creates layers of movement happening. You know, the biggest challenge in the spontaneous performance was designing these beautiful elaborate costumes, some that had some weight and some structure to them, and then having to have them be covered up. And the makeup, too, is how do you have someone in elaborate Poseidon Sea Siren makeup and then have to cover that up where they just look like a shopper at the mall? And a one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and a two, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. So I'm playing the editor, and this is actually going to be covered as a mop. So I'll be mopping around uh, the fountain, and then when it's my cue, I'm going to rip the mop off, rip off my uh, janitor outfit, and then I become the sign. Having to learn to dance with coattails and like, you know, like my little leggings falling off and hats falling off, you know, that's been a challenge, just getting used to the costuming. We're gonna do a hat run through to make sure our hats don't fall off in the, in all the chaos that's happening. I mean, the biggest challenge is where we're standing right now, the Americana. I mean, it's a, we're shooting in a functioning mall and because of the nature of what we want to accomplish, which is a spontaneous event, we're not closing anything in the mall, so the entire mall is like fully functioning while we're trying to prep, while we're shooting, while we're testing. So we have about 13 to 14 cameras running tonight for the performance. We have cameras hidden in the boom kiosk, we have cameras hidden in the planters in front of the stage, we have cameras up on the balconies, we even have a camera on the roof of the Americana tonight. You've got to be very careful about choosing the right audio equipment. Um, and that's one of the reasons we started using the Elsa that is Boom because it's portable, uh, it's wireless, uh, so you can move it around wherever the dancers are. Uh, we can have it in the crowd. Uh, it's water resistant, which is extremely important uh, with the fountain here. We wanted to make sure that people thought that this was a spontaneous performance, so we decided to make ice cream carts and put the foggers inside of them. The foggers weigh 300 pounds, so we had to make a huge reinforced steel decking for the foggers to sit on. We have this whole this whole sort of pirate theme. So what we've created is this elaborate kraken uh, that we're going to be projecting onto the water itself. We've got this uh, huge tempest that's going to be rolling with thunder and lightning. That's going to be one of the most amazing things about the show uh, is being able to see this spectacle come to life, both from an audio perspective and a video perspective. So the reason I've always wanted to do a spontaneous performance is because. You get to surprise people, you get to make people, hopefully, make people smile that weren't expecting this. And I'm looking forward to hopefully, you know, making a memorable night for someone tonight. We just finished, we're all a little wet, some of us more than others. But yeah, the stage is a little slippery, I'm not gonna lie. But yay, amazing job, everybody. Victory! I can't believe that was over so fast. It went so fast. Just all that preparation, bam, done. All right, enjoy, guys. <laughs>